Hello guys, welcome back to another episode review of Hollyoaks for 25th November 2022. In this episode, it was very, very interesting, very juicy as well. Uh, Nancy was on a mission basically to bring Olivia down because she knows that Olivia is lying and she's just trying to get Charlie into trouble. She's basically, she knows Olivia's after Nancy's job. We knew it as well and I'm glad that Nancy is very quick on it as well. Um, unfortunately, Sally, um, she wants to, she's, she's adamant to go by the book. She doesn't want to go by hearsay and go by on, on you know, assumptions and etc. She, I think her words, exact words were, every woman has a right to believe, which is true. Um, but given Olivia's previous form... That I don't think they should really believe Olivia anyway because uh, she's blackmailed John Paul before, she blackmailed Sally before, she oh, she's after their jobs. Uh, but that just shows you, I think I said in my previous episode review, Sally's just a great character. Um, she likes to see the good in everyone. Uh, what I found really funny was the fact that Nancy's, you know, on her mission, she's um, recruited so many people, like, well, she's recruited a handful of people like Sienna, um, James, through the help of John Paul. So and obviously Darren was there as well. So they had like a little, um, like a little uh, what do you call it? Almost like the Avengers or something. But as soon as Darren, this was even more interesting. As soon as Darren saw Nance, uh, sorry Sienna, then yeah, he's um, he 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 backed away. He goes because obviously, um, I think in his own words again, he said the village psychopath. We know what you like to Nancy. He was complaining that why are we resort? Why are we resorting to seek for help from her? Etc. Nancy's um, obviously sees something in Sienna. Knows Sienna's um, has a uh, let's just say a beautiful mind that she can bring her enemies down. Etc. When she puts her mind to it, um, so she's got a lot of experience. That's the only reason why Nancy's recruited Sienna because I think Sienna in in, in this in this type of um, war, let's just say, I think Sienna is actually the perfect person to recruit. Um, James, I think, is a good addition. I think the combination of James trying to be the the calm and, 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 and the cool and the water, let's just say, and Sienna trying to push it forward, so they have that balance. I know it's just two extremes. Um, James is obviously more mellowed out than before because uh, obviously he used to have a bit of form. But I do think that that's a, a great combination of a team to bring not just Olivia down, but if they have any other cases that they want to work on, I genuinely would recommend um, that team. Um, but they obviously found out that Olivia, she worked on a different, um, she worked on her LinkedIn, I think, of profile, like her work history profile or something. That she's told Sally that she worked in one school, but it turns out she worked in a different school. And obviously James said that, well, if she's lying about this, then what else is she, you know, covering? That's actually a very good way of thinking to solve this puzzle. Because clearly Olivia's got a, a, a sketchy past that she doesn't want, to, she's veiling currently. And, and uh, who knows what they will find out once they unveil it. But I actually like this, this four... This, this four kind of group, four people group that you can see in the picture now, Nancy, Sienna, James and John Paul, I do really do think that they can crime. Who needs the D, the, the D Valley police now? Because obviously I do think they can solve a lot of crimes this way. But anyway, we're just talking about one person, Olivia. And unfortunately, when they bumped into Prince, uh, Charlie and uh, Darren, when they were playing ball with the rugby ball um, in the park, bumped into Pr Prince and Olivia, um, Prince was just acting very rude and in a very bad way uh, with Darren and, and Charlie. And he was almost about to physically do something with Charlie. I don't know whether it's to push him or, you know, get a bit of hands on with him. Obviously to teach him a lesson to, you know, for him starting with Olivia, as Olivia claims. Um, I don't know, I found that very surprising on Prince's character because Prince is someone who's um, normally a nice guy um, and that the fact that Charlie's a school kid, um, I just found that very, uh, very out of character for Prince because, and that just shows you, you know, he's, he's, um, he's with Olivia, someone who's, who's, um, who's a bit nasty, who's very selfish, manipulative and now she's basically kind of like almost pulling prince like uh prince's strings like he's some sort of puppet and obviously darren said um you know he's like a dog on unleash obviously that's kind of a harsh way to say it and obviously that kind of wound prince up and i can imagine why that would wound prince up i don't think darren uh, had cho um, chose the right words there 
Um, but, you know, rather than saying a dog, he should have just said, you know, what happened to your prince? Um, you're acting very out of character. That would, that would have sufficed. Prince would have just backed off and just walk away in, in, in a grumpily or something. But if you're going to call someone a dog, it's a very demeaning, disrespectful way. But I don't know, Darren's obviously um, kind of uh, very angry the whole situation as well. Because, you know, sorry, that Darren knows that Olivia's, you know, blackmailing Charlie or she's, you know, she's up to no good. They all know it. They just don't have any proof. That's all it is. And that's the reason why Darren's so angry and he spoke to Prince like that. But I don't know, I think Prince is going to regret that one anyway, because obviously Darren's in the right. Whether he, whether he you know, you know, chose to uh, say his words carefully to Prince uh, in the right way. I don't think so. But either way, Prince punched Darren. That's bang out of order. So I think Prince has done more wrong than Darren in this case. Because, um, anyway, we'll see. Because uh, I do hope Olivia gets found out very soon. Um, I just think that she's she's manipulating so many people. And she's blackmailing so many people. She's all for a job as well. Like, come on. Do you know what I mean? She's, she's got a good job as it is. She's a teacher. So uh, the, the fact that she's after, like, you know, like more of a senior role from Nancy. I mean, you should... I mean, by all by all means, you know, go go for it in a fair way. Where if if you see a, a position opening, you apply for the job, etc. But someone's already got the job. Why are you trying to turf someone out? Then for you to snatch that job, get someone fired, sacked, or whatever. I don't know. I think she's playing a very dangerous and risky game. I think she, obviously Olivia's um, her, inter- her character is very interested because she's very she she's very risky. She's very um, kind of like very ballsy as well. Um, Again, I think that yeah, it's gonna it's gonna end in one way, and I do think Olivia's time is is um sorry, I do think Olivia's time is running out. And also, let's touch on the topic of Eric, um, Verity, and him were frantic, or he was frantically searching for his laptop because obviously there's so much evidence on there that probably could get him banged up for life. Um, so it's probably a good reason why he's getting worried. Verity's. I think throughout the most of the episode, she was in two minds. Um, I think she was kind of, you can tell she was gaining more and more sympathy for uh, Eric. Um, I don't know, I do get it because obviously it's her brother, but at the end of the day, he's caused so much harm to other people. Uh, I don't know. I think Olivia's, sorry, Verity's in a very, very, very difficult situation. Most people probably won't bat an eyelid and they will just turn Eric in because of how nasty um, or, or kind of what nasty things he was in. Um, the fact that in the end that she goes, she won't turn him in as long as he changes. I don't know. I think that was a very kind of like a gullible move from uh, Verity because, well, you know, someone's, you know, someone's kind of like done all those things like spiking women, um, having like a gang online. That, that talk so much rubbish I don't know if those people can change very easily I don't know um, and the fact that Verity's hasn't come across anyone like that before and it's just a shame that it's her, her own relative um, but now for her to give him the benefit of the doubt and thinking that she, he's going to change I don't I don't I just don't believe that honestly um, but I do I do hope Verity's safe um, because I know most likely he might not do anything because she's his sister. Even then, I just feel like, you know, now that she's given him his, his, sorry, now that she's given him her word, and if she goes back on it or anything, I don't know how he's going to react. So it's a, it's a very dangerous situation. Anyway, they're the two main topics that I want to touch on. Um, I hope you enjoy this episode review, guys. So I will see you in the next one. Peace. Enjoy your day.